Hey, welcome to the first ever episode of What They Don't Tell You. In this episode, I want to talk about websites and what they don't tell you. Now, when you start a business, what's the first thing everybody tells you? They tell you that you got to have a website, right? And you probably do. But here's what they don't tell you. They don't tell you that the type of business that you have determines the amount of effort you should be putting into that website. Okay. Now, this all kinds of ties back to empathic marketing and your audience's level of awareness. And today I want to talk about two different levels. I want to talk about uh, problem aware and solution aware. Let's start with solution aware. Okay. That's when your, uh, your audience knows that they have a problem. They know the solution that they're looking for. Okay. So in this case, let's imagine you go into your bathroom and you find your toilet completely overflowing. Your bathroom's filling full of water and you don't know how to turn it off. You don't know what to do. What do you, so what are you going to do, right? You're going to run to your computer. You're going to type in, you know, local plumber, Ottawa plumber, Denholm plumber, you know, fast plumber, cheap plumber, affordable plumber, something along those lines so that you can find a local plumber that you can call so that he can get there and stop your house from flooding, right? So how important is it for that plumber to have a website? Super important because if he doesn't have a website, then he's going to be missing out on a lot of business. Let's look at one of my businesses as another example. I own a, a wedding venue, right? And so again, when a bride is looking for a place to get married, what does she do? She types in, you know, uh, Ottawa outdoor rustic wedding venue, right? And if she doesn't find me, then she's not going to book me. So it's super important that I have a website. Now, something else to look at again, when it comes to the amount of effort you need to put into your website, does, does a plumber's website need to look as good as my website? Not really, right? A plumber's website just needs to be a business card, really. It just needs to have, you know, their name, their phone number, or maybe what their rates are, what their specialties are, maybe some Google reviews, and it just needs to be black and white. Do they need to have a picture of, like, a flooding toilet or, a, you know, a, a new sink? Like, nee, nee, not really. You know, I'm going to hire them because I've got a, because a, a, I need a solution now, okay? But as for the wedding venue, I got to put a lot more effort into my website, right? Because my... Uh, brides they are looking for a nice place to get married. So if my website isn't nice, then they're probably not going to book me. So those are the solution aware examples of websites and how important it is that if you are offering a solution, uh, a service that is attracting a solution aware audience, then you got to have a website and it's got to be crafted so that it suits what your audience is looking for. Okay. Now, let's move down the level awareness pyramid one level, okay, to the problem aware. This is where people know that they have a problem, but they're not actively looking for a solution, okay? Good example of that would be, you know, most of us want to either lose some weight or we want to get a little bit more fit. We want to have more energy, something along those lines. You go on the street and you ask anybody, hey, would you like to lose five pounds? Like, yeah, of course I would. Hey, would you like to have more energy? Yeah, of course I would. But then if you ask, oh, are you actively looking for a way to make that happen? They're like, yeah, not really. Okay. And then even the people that are, you know, thinking they're getting closer to finding that solution. Like in my case, if I wanted to, uh, to join a gym, I would look for good life fitness. I would look at orange theory, the things that I know. Okay. But there might be an awesome bootcamp gym called Bill and Ted's excellent bootcamp gym. Right. But am I going to be actively looking for Bill and Ted's excellent bootcamp gym if I've never heard of them? I'm not, right? And so uh, I'm not saying it's not important for Bill and Ted to have uh, an excellent website, but it's not as important as like some of the other areas where they should be, uh, you know, spending their time and their energy and their money, right? In that case, like that's where you're, they're going to be looking at having a, an online marketing funnel, okay? with the lead magnet, something along those lines. I'm going to be talking about what they don't tell you about funnels in, the, in an upcoming video. But today, like I say, what I want to do is focus on the website. Do you need a website? I think everybody should have a website. Plumbers need a website. Wedding venues need a website. Bill and Ted need a website. But the amount of effort they need to put into it, it's going to be different. Like even with Bill and Ted, if they have a funnel, that's great. You know, a lead magnet, that's great. But people are going to be researching them. They're going to be looking for, oh, I've never heard of Bill and Ted's. Like, is this like a fly-by-night operation? Are they legit? And so they're going to do a little bit of research. And that's where you want to make sure that you have a decent online presence, right? Because you want, they, that's, with a website, you're going to have, 
you know, uh, you're going to have the nice pictures about what your facility offers. You're going to have the about you page. You're going to have a way to contact you. You're going to have a map to the place, right? You're going to have all your reviews, stuff like that. So you're going to have some online credibility that, it, that carries a little bit more weight than, uh, than their marketing funnel. Okay. So anyway, that is what I want to talk about in today's episode of, uh, what they don't tell you. And basically what it boils down to is that you need a website. Um, but depending on your audience's level of awareness is going to determine how much effort you put into that website and how you're going to, how you're going to attract customers. Okay. All right. So if you're at the point now where you're like, ah, I don't know, should I put more money and effort into my website or should I be focused on the funnels now? Or do I have all that ready? And maybe I should start running ads. If you don't know, then let's hop on a 30 minute empathic marketing strategy session where we can go over all that. We can look at your website. We can look at your funnel. And if you're ready, we can look at your ads. Okay. And this way you won't be, um, you know, going down the wrong path anymore. You won't be wasting any more time. You won't be wasting any more money and you'll be on, you know, the right track to winning more clients and making more sales. Okay. Now this, uh, this strategy session comes with two guarantees. It's got to come with guarantees, right? The first guarantee is that this 30 minute session is about you and your business and helping you again, win more clients, make more sales. So if at any point during that 30 minutes, I try to upsell you on anything, because I know we're all worried about, you know, hopping on a strategy call. And it's just really a sales pitch. If during that 30 minutes, I try to upsell you to anything, I, oh, it doesn't matter what it is. It could be my coaching. It could be an affiliate offer. It could be girl guide to cookies. It doesn't matter. If I try to sell you anything, I owe you twice what you paid back. Okay. So you'll double your investment. The other guarantee I have is that after the 30 minutes, if you're like, you know what, Mike, that wasn't very helpful. <laughs> Well, then I feel terrible about wasting your time and the same guarantee is in place. If you feel that you spent 30 minutes with me, it's a complete waste of your time that I will give you twice your money back. Whatever you paid for the 30 minute session, you'll get twice that back. So uh, click the link. There's somewhere on this page. Maybe I'll write, put a little thing down here and, uh, and sign up for a 30 minute session. Again, there's no risk. The only possible outcomes that you can obtain are one, you're going to be totally dialed in. You're going to have a great strategy for winning more clients and making more sales, or you're going to double your money. Those are the two, uh, two, uh, possibilities for you there. All right, guys, I hope you found that video uh, helpful. And if you haven't done so yet, please like subscribe, follow whatever you need to do so that you see more of my, what they don't tell you videos. All right, guys, look forward to that. And uh, we'll see you next time. Okay. Bye-bye.